Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium V, the Scourge Lord. Uh, so where we last left off, we uh, kind of explored, got in the local area, eliminated some barbarians, and uh, got our first summons. So uh, um, now we're going to uh, show, well, the summons were the jackals here, which were pretty cool, or hyenas. Um, so the hyenas are doing their work. Uh, we've got some life force, so we're going to do the lesser to do another Scourge summons. And we got a lot more in the way of hyenas, so that's good. Um, and at this point, I think we're okay just moving forward. Eventually, he will not be crazy anymore, and I'll be able to use him. But uh, until then, is insane and doesn't want to move. Um, yeah. So we've got uh, what appears to be the Fallen Empire scenario. Um, so that's why we've got a haunted city down here, which we're working to go and take over. Um, we'll go ahead and grab this coal mine, and then with our army of jackals, we should be able to knock out uh, White and crew. Um, the White's going to be problematic, but as long as he's only killing jackals, we'll be okay. So, Oh, oh, he's not crazy anymore. So we'll get him down here to join if we can. All right, so Nafim can only join here. Do we want to spend a turn and keep Nafim so we can attack the city? And I think the answer is yes. Let's see. There we go, Dark Blessing. Some of his powerful summons will permanently gain additional magical abilities, elemental resistances, and physical power. So very cool. Um, we will probably do that. Yeah, they took my pillar there, didn't they? And this, as you can see, there's now desert underneath this pillar as it's draining the life force eventually. So uh, we'll have to uh, take care of that. But okay, so Nafim is done. I will, let's go ahead and show off the dark blessing. We now have fire resistance. Well, okay, that's really cool. Um, so Dark Blessing gives 50% fire resistance. Not what I kind of need right now, but you know, that's cool. Uh, there's definitely some cool blessings for the Dark Blessings for sure. So uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. So yeah, we spent a lot of our life force, um, but we've been building it up. So, you know, we need to spend it to, to win, right? So, so this is what we got here. This will be an interesting battle. And it's all we've got to do for the turn, so let's do it. Battle in the Haunted City. So let's view that before we spoil things. Ah, they had a hidden wraith as well, um, which cast Strain Life, so that's going to be a problem. Oh, we caused the wraith to run. Do you guys climb walls? Oh no, I made him ethereal. So when you're ethereal, you can ignore walls. And then we just murdered him with the uh, finger of death. Interesting. All right. So we found a magic item, Nomad Helm, magic acorns, and the evil times have come to an end. Uh, and we got an astrologer recruit if we had the gold, so. So we're at the Haunted City. Welcome to the Haunted City. We've got some cool equipment. Uh, so magic items are in the game and in this case we got a nomad's helmet summons a wolf at the start of battle uh, Five hit points and then cold resistance. So that's really cool um, That will probably give to a camel rider Who will be at the front of our battle? Um, we also got magic acorns which summons a woodman which is a sturdy little guy um, We'll give that to him Because if I hit the transfer screen Oh, let's see. Yeah, those will summon in the front lines there, so it'll be uh, pretty useful. Let's go ahead and transfer all our troops here. So now we got ourselves a little city. Um, it is not a recruitable point, though, uh, which most cities are because it's just a haunted city. But um, we may need to take the guard tower here in order to make that happen. But at least we have this under our control now. Um, 
question is, where do we want to go from here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build a pillar on an ancient forest and see what happens there. Because that would be killing two birds with one stone, as they say. Uh, we'll put you two to defend the walls. And it's going to be the same movement either way. Um, we should be able to overwhelm this with our jackal force for sure. Um, this one is not the ideal one to attack, though. That's a lot of moose and a sacred moose to boot. Oh, he's got primal node. Um, nearby animals will be able to become noble primal animals if they expose themselves to the forces. I don't know what that means. That is cool. Whatever that is. Um, are you primal? No, you're just normal. Okay. Um, so maybe that's not the ancient forest we'll want. Let's go ahead and... I already built a pillar over here, though. I wonder if you can build them side by side. 14 units, huh? Alright, we may use some of our power to do summons, and then we'll go and crash into that and see what we get. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Let's see, what do we want? We want... Scourge summon. Okay, we got some spiders. And Nafim doesn't have it. It's Nadim that has it. Um, Scourge summons. Alright, not as cool as all the hyenas we got. But I think between what we've got and everything, we'll be able to crush this. And then we can see if we can construct a pillar on top of it. Of course, I, as I say that, they took my other pillar. And I don't have the forces to do it, but we'll figure that out. Alright. Battle in the Ancient Forest, so let's view it. As you can see, it gets a bit messy when you're dealing with uh, tramplers. And they did a number on our forces, for sure, so let's check the stats. So we lost two desert warriors, three camel riders, 13 hyenas, two spiderlings, and three of the four black spiderlings. So we took some serious damage. We did get a spoil of war, though, which was the magic of acorns we picked up off of our dead friend. Um, not our best move, but it's for science. And you're hurt again. Are you, you got a death wish. Placement rank is one step further towards the front and will deploy towards the front towards the front, uh, will deploy further towards the front than his hit points would indicate otherwise. So, interesting. Okay. So you got a death wish, but that's alright. You're pretty hardy. I guess we'll have to use that to our advantage. Alright, what do we need to construct a pillar? 25 and 25. We got that, so let's do that. And that gets rid of the ancient forest. Beautiful. Okay. Build pillars on ancient forest. Got it. Alright. So, this has given us 15, so that's good. And uh, nothing else we can do at this point, so let's transfer. That's a tiny, tiny army now. But, uh, hit space. Yeah, again, not our smartest move, but we did it for science. So, right? That's all that matters. Three long dead. Hmm. Three boars. Let's go get our pillar, which was taken over by serpents, apparently. And uh, we'll go from there. So, pardon me just a moment. I'm going to pause here, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry for the delay there. Okay, so... I think we're pretty good there. We're killing some serpents. Need some more of that life force, man. Alright. Captain, uh, let's go stats. Ah, oh, they killed a hyena. Serpents and their poison. You get to see what that looks like. I didn't even get to see that very well. Okay. So this hyena here got tagged. Yep, got tagged. 
with the poison. And as you can see, it took two poison damage and died. So, okay. All right, we're up to 75 life force again. So the question is, I don't have enough right now. Let's go ahead and use your special power. Okay, now we get ants. Ants are actually pretty good. They may look tiny, and they are, because they, uh, they have the tiny stat. Um, so that means, though, that 50% of mundane attacks will uh, miss them. So that's good. They only have two hit points, but they have two armor, so they're resistant. And then they shoot a little beam of acid spray, which most uh, armor negating and most uh, things don't have resistance against acid. So, so it's a little hard for what it is. And uh, siege tunneling as well, which I don't know what that looks like yet. This one's a bigger version of them, four uh, hit points, but the two armor still. Um, it has an acid spray and then a bite. So, uh, but the armor is the big thing. So. Uh, I mean, we're only looking at, what, six boars here, so we can easily take that. Uh, Nadim, let's go ahead and... Oh, we don't have the Scourge power. Oh, well. All right. Let's crash and kill the boars. And then, uh... Oh, we don't have the iron right now, but... Uh, if we can get the iron, we can then, uh... Summon another pillar here. I shouldn't have crashed into this then, I guess. All right, so view. And we created a solace. So that's good. Uh, let's transfer the old solace. Oh no, he died. Okay. He ended up dying. All right, how do I want to do this? We got, I should take this pillar of power back up here, but um, one, two, three, four, five. It's still 15. Uh, that one has five. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. That one's still only 15. Okay. So I was wondering if the number of forests nearby would be a, an effect on it, but uh, no, it is not. Helm's Gate. I need to take you. I need a forward point for recruiting for sure. Um... And then to appoint a herald takes 100 of the energy. Okay. So we just need to save up iron to get more pillars. And we need to find more iron, essentially. Um, oh, Nadim has... There's the ghoul. I was like, where'd the ghoul go? All right. You'll guard their ancestral home in the woodlands. We'll overrun them, and we'll come over here and retake the hamlet. Because I need gold. also need iron, but I can't find iron right now. A sorceress for 102 gold. So we'll grab that. And uh, we'll stare down a serpent. Um, so hit space. So I were, was attacked, which probably means I'm dead. Yep, three boars. Pretty easy to do, but that's fine. Um, it's going to be a while before I get the iron I need. So two serpents. So we could do one scout, and then we'll crash and kill them. Might as well. And maybe we go over to this ancient forest. I forget what it had. Um, once we get the pillar iron we need. Man, this lack of iron sucks. All right. Uh, let's just go to stats. Negative one. I think it's because it was created. So, okay. That's a way to do it. Let's just... Yeah, we did make a solace. So we negative one did. So negative one died. Which, if you do the math, means one came back from the dead. Yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, the math checks out. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and leave him behind here. And, of course, it started snowing again. Because it does that every year. All right, don't take my pillar. But yeah, so the, using the pillars to get rid of ancient forests, beautiful thing. Uh, not so much if uh, something took my mm, coal mine. Darn you. All right, what do you got here? Yeah, we'll figure that out later. All right. All 
Okay, we got ourselves a watchtower. All it does is have a, a good view and give you a slight defensive structure against uh, the nearby area, but uh, doesn't do anything for us really, so. All right. Oh. This is slow. I hate being in the snow. It really, really sucks. Slows you down a lot. Being in the south with the desert is uh, much smarter for, for this faction for sure. The two moose again, huh? Let's just see. What do we got here? 11 deer defending this wealth of uh, stuff. So these are um, like terrain pieces, but they're also alive. So I can use them, drain them for my magic spells and stuff like that. So just something to keep in mind. Need 25 iron, huh? Meteor struck down in the savanna. Okay. So the meteor doesn't help us, but other factions that do gems, they get access to gems, which is nice. Uh, let's just hit next instead to jump up there. Um, so something took our stuff over here, of course. And it looks like it's something invisible, whatever it is. And they took that. Uh, so frustrating. Right now, I just don't have a lot of action points, so it slows us down like crazy. Because I can't get more than one army going because I don't have the resources for it. All right. So I'm planning on crashing into something there, so let's go ahead and use our special powers to do a Scourge Summons. All right. That is a Scourge Ant, so it's much bigger as uh, the beam and the bite um, and siege tunneling, so okay. It's not bad. That thing will last forever. Oh, no, no. Transfer. Use your special power. More spiders. Okay. Where was that massive hyena summoning? That's what I wanted. Oh, gosh darn it. I hit the wrong key. Ah, so I don't, now I'm wasting my action points. Okay. So we're at 16 iron. All right. Yeah, this is the slow part. This is the doldrums. I don't make enough gold to build a sufficient army, although I'm showing a decent number of troops now. Uh, let's go ahead and use our Scourge Summons again. Alright, that was something new. We'll look at that after I do the other one. Oh, we got two of them, whatever they are. Alright, let's take a look. Dark Centipedes. 13 hit points, 2 armor, and a venomous bite. And they're wall climbing. So, um, yeah, they're, they're terrifying. I, I don't like centipedes in real life, so... Uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to work our way up to the coal mine because I think, was it Nadim? Has got dark bonds, which will take 150, and that will give us defenses. Um, and more importantly, we'll make the mine more effective. I should have been thinking about that earlier, but uh, so... Uh, so happy to, to get rid of these stupid ancient forests so we don't have all these wandering animals stealing my stuff. Snow. Nope, bottom. Okay. So we'll get on here and then we should be able to uh, really improve our input, our output of uh, iron here. So Nadim, go ahead and uh, Dark Bonds. All right, so they're not the sturdiest of things, but um, where'd he go? Where did you go? Here. Uh, Taskmaster has 13 hit points. He's pretty good. He has uh, one armor, and uh, he's got a whip and a broadsword. He's also got the Dark Blessing. And then these are the Slave Workers. They only have three hit points, but they hit for one to six damage, so um, they're also stationary. They're not moving anywhere. Same with the Taskmaster, so. But now this mine will double its imp output, so if I hit the I key... Uh, let's see. Oh, it doesn't tell you there, so interesting. 
Uh, but as you can see, it's now plus two here. Uh, if you click on it, one, currently two, so it's showing the benefit there. Um, same with the gold, so. All right, yep. Captain, all right. How do we want to handle this? I want to get that pillar of power, but right now, oh, this market village would be useful though. All right, let's transfer everything that we can. And we'll leave Nadim for now. And we're gonna come and retake this. Nadim, you can just move on to the city for now. And maybe we'll find a use for you later. All right, winter's here. Desert's here, that's good. Um, what do you need to do, Nadim? You should probably actually head up to the Citadel. We should probably start doing some recruiting, huh? Um, or do I get the Sheik? No, the Sheik isn't as useful. Uh, so we'll get some Desert Warriors here. And Nadim will slowly crawl his way up there. Desert Warriors. We'll get some Camel Riders next. Although I guess I should do just Desert Warriors because my summons all appear to be melee based. Yeah, I guess we'll come up here and grab our pillar. Um, by that time we'll be able to uh, uh, do the pillars like we want to. Yeah, we're at uh, 35 gold already, so yep. Sea dragon. Sorry, there's some things in the sea there for sure that could be interesting. Um, something I wish would happen, but I don't know how balanced it would be, is that if your citadel starts next to the sea, to be able to build ships, but uh, not 100% necessary, obviously. All right, so we'll take that force. I guess we should keep uh, a force of a couple archers back and we'll move this way I don't know what this strange portal goes to so I may hop into there with this force and just see what that is just to show you guys so take that and that's all she wrote for the turn nope I gotta I'm using the shortcut keys which is uh, what you're supposed to do but it does sometimes lead to inefficiencies as I hit the wrong key, which is why I'm glad I set up that uh, alert if I'm going to leave AP on the floor. Alright. Let's clear up some of this junk, right? So, we'll start with you guys here. And then we'll overrun you guys. Two giant mushrooms. You guys don't spawn anything, right? A mobile, stationary, no zone of control, poison explosion on death. Um, that's why you don't want to fight them if you can avoid it. Four moose are going to be too much for your ragtag group, Nadim. Summer's here. Perfect. Bear and deer. That's a potent combination for sure. Um, all right. What do we want to kill? The great boar? Let's do that. Because, okay, we got a port that looks empty. Uh, we also have an ancient forest with a cockatrice, so I'm not going to deal with that at this time. Because that thing is deadly with its petrifying gaze on a beam. Um, and for some reason, fishmen. You keep strange friends, Mr. Cockatrice. Um, do that. The iron income has definitely been helpful. Thank you, Taskmaster. Oh, also we're trading for more iron too, so... All right, so there's been a battle. Let's go ahead and take a look. And we murderized them. Um, so we got to try for the port. Because the port is a uh, recruit plot spot. 
And of course they took more stuff again. And it's the moose. We also have the dwarf and two outdoor dwarves. So we can take them on easily with this force. So let us... Well, we'll do that next round, I guess. Oh, he decided to take that portal, which apparently shoots across the map. A hero has arrived. Excellent. Do you have any magic items? No, you don't. So heroes are interesting. They don't allow you... To, they have this X here, so they cannot command units, but they can go around the battlefield and do things. So in this case, he's going to go see what's on the other side of that portal. You are going to take our life force giving thing back here. And I guess we should murder some boars, so we'll do that. Yes, the port is ours. So now we can actually recruit things for them. We can do ships, but what I want are desert warriors right now. Because the desert warriors will be able to do that. Let's see. You've been turning more things into forests. Lost you again, of course. Um, so the port is ours. They'll be able to recruit more desert warriors, so I think I will spend a turn there so I can do that second recruit of warriors. Celestial. Alright. Battle in the forest. So let's view it. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and recruit. So what I'm doing to recruit here is uh, hitting right click and holding it down. And by doing a long right click, it'll recruit directly at that place. Otherwise, you have to hit recruit and you have to click on the right spot. And when I did that, I would sometimes end up recruiting at the wrong spot. Especially if I backed out to check the window for something else. There's that ancient forest that I want to get rid of that Cockatrice is sitting on. Um, so we're not going to be able to do that anytime soon. Uh, we'll just head back here to defend that as best we can. Head here. Snow everywhere. Ten Pikeneers. So now that we have a town, when you hit recruit, uh, we have a town which the port counts as. And for every town that you have, you have a chance of getting um, mercenaries or magic items. So that's where these Pikeneer are coming from. Uh, they're at a slight discount there, actually, not bad, um, and they don't cost any iron, so that's a really useful discount, but um, I don't have the gold for them, so we'll just murder ourselves some deer. These are thunderbirds. These things hit anywhere with the lightning strikes and claws, but um, we should be able to take it down with all the archery and animals we have, so, so we'll probably do that next. You, on the other hand, you need to just head down. We'll kind of recapture this area and uh, reclaim this pillar of power. All right, so when you're on a gateway, you enter the gateway by clicking that. All right, there you are. Okay. That does take us where we want to go, so I think we might have to move our other army to take that um, route. This army can go there and jump over. Let's see what else is around us, though. All right, we got ourselves an iron mine. Or coal mine. Coal mine. So that's really good. All right, so it doesn't go to another plane. It just is a teleport from uh, side to side, which is cool. Oh, we were attacked in a coal mine. I'm guessing we're dead. Yes, yeah, stupid bandits. All right, well, you were a hero... You were unexpected. You're dead. Ooh, giant centipedes. Um, they're just like our dark centipedes, aren't they? Is there any difference? Venomous bite. The other guys had venomous bite, though, right? Yeah, they did. Okay. I guess I got the goth centipedes. Do 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 do. Two initiative, range one, yeah. Mine actually only have 13 hit points, though. These guys had 19, didn't they? Yeah, these guys are stronger. Hmm. Uh, either way, I can't do anything else, because snow sucks. Um, I guess we'll go here and we'll retake that iron mine, because that'll be useful. And then I can use some of this uh, scourge power that's built up to uh, get that mine uh, buffing power here. So, All right. Uh, 
attacked in a plane. Wolf attacked my Solus and killed it. Okay. And you can hit go to, and it was right there. That's the Solus I left there, my little soul bomb. Did, wait, did another? No, that wasn't another ancient forest. That was the one that took over the ancient forest. Okay. I was going to be real upset. Three bear and three deer. I really want to get rid of you. But you're just, uh, you're a nasty, nasty guy. Um, now we'll come over this way and we'll kill the Thunderbird. There's an iron bog. That could be useful, but we'll never keep it with all these animals here. All right, enter your gateway and then we'll move up here and we'll grab that mine from possible bandits, but we'll murderize any bandits. Okay, view. So this thing shoots lightning, so. But we eat it alive with our, our, our major fight there. That's cool. Um, works for me. All right, so now we have a decision to make. We have a ton of archers and a ballista. Uh, so the ballista will tear into our ranks, but we've got the scourge power. We can take this port, and that would be nice to have because it has all that gold, as you can see. Um, it's going to be reduced by snow all the time, but that's just the way our our life is right now um, so we'll have to debate that you guys are gonna come here though and uh, we'll end our turn all right and then we got a dwarven faction to worry about so dwarves uh, they they reproduce like bugs think like the movie aliens um, they have a queen called the Davala and so they're a little weird in that regard when they uh, Reproduce they get little worker guys and then those worker guys can be upgraded using iron and gold um, Into more improved kind of forms and stuff like that. So So definitely interesting. Um, okay. Well first let's use lesser call of the pyramid To known pyramid of power. Okay, cool. Oh, you already have dark bonds. This is Nadim All right, we'll summon the dark bonds Okay, that was a very large force, so we should be good there. We'll hold on to that for a while. These guys are two small forces here. Um, Todd Bog, let's use your special power to Scourge Summon. Spiders are good for Siege Warfare. You're going to use yours. Okay, well, we'll have to learn the Scourge Summoning for you later. Uh, let's see, 13 units. I feel confident this force will be able to do it, so let's uh, let's crash into it. Let's see what happens here. All right, so we're going to hit stats first, and we did take some casualties. We lost some of our desert warriors. Hyenas, a couple black ants, spiderlings, and black spiders. So, yeah, I expected that. Um, so we lost a total of 15 units. They lost 13. However, if you view, you'll see what happened here. That ballista did its firing. And as you can see down here, that's where we lost all our archers because we were shooting them. And then we climbed the walls up here. So... Um, that's useful. One smith and two outdoor dwarves. All right, we have the gold. Let's get ourselves some more desert warriors. All right. So let's go ahead and kill them, shall we? What do we got here? Dwarf and four outdoor dwarves. I mean, I should just kill them. Outdoor dwarves are crossbow dwarves, so they fire every other round. Um, they're hardy. Um, they got one armor, shield, and then five hit points. Uh, and they have an axe for one to seven damage. Um, but they're just not a match for the force and, and magic that I have here. So 
We're just going to crush that and kind of see. Lots of moose around, huh? Yeah, you're going to come up and mess with my pillar of power, dude. Battle in the tundra and battle in the mountains. So let's view this one here. So they killed my camel riders, but we managed to win. So we can hit the stats. All three camel riders dead. Uh, this one's pretty easy. Yeah, we just murdered those dwarves. Not really anything to worry about there, so very nice. And now we got ourselves a couple of ports. So we're in a pretty good position. So we're going to go ahead and leave it here. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe as it means a lot. And I will catch you guys next time.